what's going on guys um i just wanted to say i am sorry for the mic issues that are going to be in this video um had some mic problems and the mic is going to be quieter than like or it's going to be pretty quiet so you're it's going to be kind of hard to hear and um yeah i'm really sorry but otherwise um enjoy the video What's going on guys? My name is Pasta. Welcome to the fourth part of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild walkthrough series. So, um, before the video starts, I just want to say that, um, this week I will be uploading every single day, Monday through Friday. Uh, you might have already seen the Monday video, but I will have one. Oh, like this one on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and yeah. So without further ado. That's kind of loud. That hurt my ears. doublet the, well, the jacket that will let us go into the snow area and um like be warm. So now the last shrine which is over here. Swimming this giant sturdy leaf can create a gust of wind strong enough to blow away light objects. These will sometimes fall off trees as they're chopped down.
Thank you. the shrine has to offer see what power we get from this one Staple. These pillars can be used as stepping stones on top of those. Use cryonos on an ice pillar to break.
Challenges of the shrine. Okay, so we now have the shrine. Um, we now have all four rooms. Oh! oh. Scary. <coughs> Spirit orbs and shrines on this part too. <laughs> oh, it's done. It. <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, hmm. imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall look for you there. There, I will be waiting. Okay, so <coughs> these are the shrines and here. So I don't have to walk all the way back. I'm gonna have to walk a little bit. Darn this. I might be a little off.
Actually, it looks more like the Temple of Time. Because these go like this, and these go like this. So yeah, it would actually be more like the Temple of Time. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power 
and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final help. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here's the parrot letter. Just as I promised. Oh. You received from the king on the great plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X1 in the air key. That's the way the plateau is complete. <coughs> With what you should be able to say, with that you should be able to safely fly off the coastline of the area. And 
I think that's it. <laughs> I told you everything I said. Okay, well that answers a lot of questions. Let's go back and respawn Danny. Monster Guardians, I think. Apparently I have to find Iron Beasts or something. But first I have to go to Kakariko Village. And find some sort of I kind of like that. Like, we're paying to see the 